Hey everybody, Wayne at Mighty Armory. Today I want to talk to you about our rifle dies. I get questions from customers all the time. Do your decapping shafts have a floating neck sizing ball? The answer is no. What we do is we Swiss machine the shaft or the mandrel shaft as we refer to it for each and every caliber. Now, let's take a look at it. This is all one piece Swiss machined with a beautiful surface. So it's not gonna wreck your necks. And you can see the length of it. So if this is two, two, two with LC brass, which is thick and not annealed, you'll end up with four thousandths neck tension, which is ideal for an AR. Now, if you're loading Winchester 223, you're probably going to get closer to two thousandths tension because the brass is thin and it's not going to spring back as much as the thicker brass and it's more concentric. So it's wider, comes through the neck for a longer period of time. It has a long length to it, which means it comes through the neck at a long time and it leaves you with a neck size to where it should be. And the concentricity is excellent. There's three points on this mandrel. So when you drop the mandrel into the die, you're sitting on this flat, you're sitting against this angle, and you're sitting against this wider diameter start of the shaft. Those three particular machined items or parts of the shaft are what keep you concentric. So now watch, you drop it in. I can shake this all day long. You're not gonna hear it move. This is where we get our concentricity. So if you sized, you seat a bullet, a good bullet with a good seating die that won't affect concentricity, your average is going to be like a half thousandths run out with our dies. That's usually what I hear. So that's the difference between our mandrel expander or a floating bull.